Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you a full gameplay run through of Century Spice Road with the Automa that may or may not be on B BGG yet. Um, it is currently August 19th, 2020, and I should have it at the end of this week. Uh, for those interested, this will also be compatible with uh, Century Spice Golem. Um, I will be redoing the art for the cards, but the cards are going to function the same way. So technically, you could play Gollum with these cards, uh, but I wanted to make I want to make it look the same, um, match the theme of the game. So in this Automa, you are going to be playing over the course of three rounds. Um, this particular one, uh, we are going up against the standard Automa. You have a choice to play either against a standard or expert. For standard, I win about 50% of the time. For expert, it's about 30% of the time. Uh, so it's just up to you how you would like to play. So for setup, uh, you're going to print out your 27 card Automa deck. Uh, I am not a big print and player, so I kind of cheat a little bit, but I think it feels really good. Um, I just take a normal playing card and sleeve it. And then I just I, I print off uh, the files on normal paper, not hard stock, just normal paper. I cut them and then I just sleeve them. I have had zero issues. I've, I've done this with almost all my Automas and other games. Um, I've, I've had zero issues with the, them coming out. This, um, so it holds them really good and it feels just like a normal card. But I know other people use spray adhesive and make it look really, really nice. Uh, that's just not I don't have time to do that with five kids um, so that's how I do it um, so to set up you're gonna set up just like a normal multiplayer two-player game uh, we're gonna have four gold coins and four silver coins you're gonna give yourself three yellow cubes and you're gonna shuffle the Automa deck and and create a deck of 18 cards from the 27 so let's do that now We're just going to put this right here. We'll put these off to the side because we will be needing them later on in this game. Um, so this game takes over uh, the course of three rounds, um, just like a multiplayer game, a two-player game. Uh, whenever a, a player or an automa collects their sixth point card, the game will end at the end of the turn. A turn consists of the player going and then the automa going. So you want to make sure you have equal number of turns once the, the end of the game is triggered. Um, we will go over the Automa cards when they come up and what the different actions mean. There's only three actions it will take. It's also important to note that the Automa never collects merchant cards and it never collects resources. It only collects point cards and, to and coins. At the end of the game, it's going to score its... Uh, point cards, any coins it has, as well as any yellow cubes left over on your player area. You're going to score just like you would in a normal multiplayer game. You're going to score your point cards, your coins, as well as any upgraded cubes that's red, green, or brown that are in your player area. Uh, so let's just go ahead and begin, shall we? Uh, the games generally take me about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not a high strategy kind of player. I just kind of go with the flow. Um, so I don't agonize over decisions um, that often. Uh, so let's let's start. Uh, I, I like that card because it's going to give me green and brown, which is going to help me on several of these. So let's just go ahead and take it to make sure that the Automa doesn't take it. Okay. It is now the Automa's turn. It's going to flip over a card. So, this is a good card. It's a good explanation showing card. So, an Automa card has three sections to it. When it's the first round, you're only going to do the, the action that's listed on the top third of the card. When it's the second round, you're going to take the middle action. And when it's the third round, you're going to take the bottom action only. So, actually, this shows the three types of actions that are all, on all the cards. So, let's just go over them real quick. Um, when there is nothing, um, they do they don't they don't do anything. They don't take an action. Think of this as them playing a card that up that allows them to upgrade card uh, resources on their player area, or it's them taking back their hand. 
Uh, you're going to see purple cards with a little hand, and you're going to see orange cards with a little coin or without a coin. So purple cards, uh, and this is going to be different for for Gollum because they're a different color, but it's a, it's the same uh, mechanic. Uh, whenever you see a B, uh, this row is A, and this row is B. So this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. This is B1, B2, so on and so forth. So if this was the second round and I pulled this card, the Automa would take the card and slot B2, which is B1, B2, and it would discard it because it does not collect merchant cards. And then, just like in a multiplayer game, if I were to take or you were to take a card that's not the first slot, you would have to leave a resource on any cards before it. So it would leave a resource. For, it would take it from the supply and put it on any cards uh, before it. So if it took slot B3, then you would take that and discard it, and then you would put a yellow cube on both B1 and B2. Okay? Um, let's say it was the third round and I drew this card. It won slot A1. So this is this card. So it would collect that point card, and if there's any coins above it, it would take a coin, and it would put that into its player area. But since this is round one, it's still building up its engine. It's not going to do anything. All right, so back to my turn. I'm going to play two yellows. We'll go to the Automa. It wants slot B3, and it's going to drop cubes. So B1, B2, B3, it's going to discard it, and it's going to drop a cube on each card before it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this just so I can get the yellow cubes because I want to be able to perform this action twice to get two greens and two browns. I'm also noticing this card. I really want that card. We'll see if the Automa takes it. It does. Uh, so it takes B3. One, two, three. So it knew that was a good card somehow. Jerk. And it took it. It left cubes on all the cards before it. Uh, I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take this one as well. Automa does nothing. All right, so we're going to play that card to trade in four resources, not once, but twice, to get two greens and two browns. All right, Automa's turn. It does nothing. Oh, uh, two greens, two browns. Hmm, do I dare try to go for that one? Eh, let's try it. So I'm going to play this to upgrade these two greens to two browns. That might be a mistake. I'm not, uh, It's going to be a couple number of turns here before I can get another brown. All right, it wants B2, so it's going to take B2. It's going to leave a resource on the card before it. And let's go ahead and take this card because this might be the quickest way I can get a brown. All right, it does nothing. I'm going to take my hand back. I need some resource generation. I need this card. All right. <laughs> All right, so it, it takes me four. One, two, three, four discards that and drops a cube on each card before it. Ooh, I'm sure the Automa will take that, so it's not going to matter. I'll take two yellow. Clean up my player area, make sure I have enough spots for all of these. All right, it's going to take B1. And then I'm going to play this card to exchange five yellows. And I apologize, I don't know the actual names for all these different spices for three greens. If I can make it two more turns, I can get that 20 pointer. It's pretty big. Okay, it, it is taking 
it is taking a card it is taking a four so one two three four uh, you'll notice that there's no coin and that's because you would only ever possibly get coins above a1 and a2 so the art on the card is not going to show a coin so it takes a4 and then I'm going to play an upgrade so I'll double upgrade these greens to browns so now I have enough for that 20 pointer it wants b2 so it's going to discard the resource and actually and then leave a resource on b1 since it wasn't the first card in the row and now I'm going to exchange five browns for this 20 pointer I don't know how many times I've been saving up for a card and the automobile will just snatch it knows exactly which one I want just like it does with the resources it's uncanny alright so I'm at 21 points autumn is at 11 so good start I don't really love my engine but I'm not really thinking about it too much either uh, whew, okay uh, so it takes a one and it's going to check to see if there's a coin above it because later in the game there's a, there's a possibility that these all these gold coins might be gone and just like in a multiplayer game if that happens these silver ones slide down so for a1 and a2 whenever it takes one it's going to look for a coin above it so can't forget to give the automa a gold coin so the question is what do I want to go for now um, I have a really high point card I don't have a lot of resource generation I need this card but I'm not putting greens upgraded cubes on these I'm tempted to take I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my hand back all right it does nothing and I'm gonna go to go ahead and take this card just so I can get some cubes all right Anima, don't take b3 b4 one, two, three. It always knows where the resource generation is. I, I don't know how. All right, I'm going to play two more. It's going to take B1. And then I'm going to make sure I drop that to get this guy. All right, it wants B3. One, two, and take that card. Do I take that green? Uh, I want to take it. Take that resource generation. All right, it does nothing. Uh, I'm going to take this top card while all these resources are still on it. I don't want the Automa just grabbing all those and discarding them even though I can't really use the card at this time alright and it does nothing so I went first and the automa goes so this is the end of a turn and his deck is depleted so we're gonna move on to round two so we're gonna take the, all the automa cards we haven't used that we didn't use for round one we're gonna shuffle all these together and we're gonna deal out a deck of 16 cards So on standard, I go first, and then the Automa goes, and the deck is made up of 18 cards, 16 cards, and 17 cards, and you start off with three resources. For expert, the Automa is going to go first every turn, so it's going to have a little bit of an advantage. You only start with one yellow resource, and there's only 15 cards each round. So round one is going to have 15. Um, so with standard, it, it allows you three extra turns to try to get your uh, engine built up. All right, that's a good enough shuffle. So 16 cards. We'll lay these others to the side. Uh, let's go ahead and exchange five yellows for three greens. I really would like that 16 pointer. So then you have to play. You have to, you have to decide. Like, I want the 16 pointer, but do I want to take a chance that the automa get it, or, or or wait for them to grab a1 or a2? There's no guarantee they will. 
there's a higher probability that they will but I mean there's there's um, Automa cards for each of these slots so I'd like this to slide over so I can get some of these coins but I don't want the Automa to get us another 16 pointer when it, already, when it already has an 18 and 11 alright so I believe I just went so it's the Automa's turn uh, this time it's round two we're gonna look at the middle so it does nothing I'm going to play this card to exchange two greens for four reds and two yellows. I need my upgrade card next. It Automa does nothing, so I'm going to upgrade these two greens to two browns that gives me enough for the 16 pointer I think I'm just gonna take it next turn I'm not gonna take any chances it does nothing so I will trade in two reds three browns to get the 16 pointer and I don't get a coin Autumn's turn it does nothing let's go ahead and play four yellows one, two, three, four. Make sure I have enough spots for all of these. Yes, I do. Does nothing. Uh, hmm. Let's play three and three to get six reds. One, two, three, one. Two, three. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that right this second, but I'll figure it out. It takes B1. I'm going to get a green. It takes B1. What does that give me? I don't like that. I'm going to take my hand back so I can upgrade. Ooh, that's a nasty card. Uh, middle round though, so nothing happens. I'm going to upgrade these two reds to two greens. I do have enough for that 10 pointer, but do I want to get greedy? That's the question. Probably. I'll take B1. That's the stupid card I wanted. Ooh, I like that card. I don't have a lot in my hand that converts to brown. So maybe I shouldn't focus on that. Alright, so let's do two reds and two greens. And let's just take this card. Watch him take the 15 pointer. It's now going to be a 16 pointer. Alright, Automa does nothing. Uh, I'm going to play another green. I would love to be able to get that 17 pointer. But maybe I should just rush the end of the game. Uh, I've had success with that and I've had a lot of failure with that too. Uh, B1. Let's take that card. It's going to allow me to get browns. It does nothing. Alright, so, well, let's play this one first to get two. It does nothing. Alright, so we're going to trade in three yellows and three reds to get three browns. Does nothing. And I promise you folks, I know it looks like it's not doing a lot right now, but it's just building up its engine, it's getting its cubes up upgraded, and it's going to start firing on all cylinder once round three starts. So I can get that 17 pointer if I just play a green. So let's play a brown to get two greens. 
does nothing and then we'll trade in three greens and two browns for this 17 pointer and then it does nothing got kind of lucky there in the second round they didn't take a lot I think they might have just taken one so for the third round final round of the game um, we're gonna shuffle this up and deal 17 cards in the rare 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 event that at the end of the third round uh, the AI or yourself do not have their your sixth point card you will pretty much repeat the third round I've only ever have had that happen once in about 45 to 50 play testing games so you should not encounter that often so what I say so 17 cards okay I go first I need some resources so let's play four All right, it does nothing. Um, we need some green, so let, oh, I don't have enough of that. Let's take my cards back, because I need some more yellows. All right, so now it's starting to, it's engine starting to flow a little bit. So A1 with a gold coin. Let's go ahead and play four more. One, two, three, four nothing let's play five for three one two three four five for three greens that will give me enough for the 12 pointer and that's probably my best bet right now it does nothing so let's go ahead and get that 12 pointer so four greens so I only need one more to signal the end of the game Probably want to go after one of these 12s or 13s because Automa's going to be coming. Okay, nothing. Let's go ahead and. Play this to turn three yellow into three red. It takes A3. Let's get two yellows here. Does nothing. Let's get a green. It takes A5. <laughs> All right, so this game could end at any on any turn now. So I need greens. So let's change exchange this for a red and the red for a green that gives me enough for the 12 pointer let's see if the game's gonna end right here though it does not so b5 one two three four it will take this card and now I'm going to turn in two and three to get this 12 point card so that is going to trigger the end of the trigger the end of the game the automa still gets to go because we have to have an equal number of turns and it does nothing on that last turn so let's tally up our points so I have 20 16 10 17 12 12 two coins these are worth one each and I have one there so it's three so my total is 92 and then the AI has 11 18 12 was that 13 18 and it has 3 6 plus a yellow right here so it's 7 so final score uh, was me 92 the AI 79 so got the W uh, this is on standard there's also an expert um, but the AI is going to play differently each time it's going to play differently between rounds just depending on which uh, cards get shuffled in um, once again there this will be the graphics will be updated on the cards so that you can play with Gollum 
the actions are going to be exactly the same. It's going to reference the same things because Gollum is the same game. It's just going to have different graphics so that it matches your game. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this gives you another multiplayer game that you can play solo, uh, just like all the other solo automas I've created. Um, I have a geek list. Um, you can check that out. I have Splendor, uh, Sagrada, uh, Explorers in the North Sea, Dice Hospital. Um, um, I have role player. I need to make one for it because I'm not a big fan of the Beecher High score. Um, I know a lot of people have uh, the expansions for role player. I feel like it's still a Beecher High score, but there's you can attack things. And I played it one time multiplayer. I wasn't honestly a big fan of it, um, but I, I, I like the base game. I just don't like the Beecher High score. So that is Century Spice Road. If I ever get any of the other Century games, I will more than likely get um, create solo automas for them. But at this time, I do not have the second or third one in this series. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the BGG page, on the file section, or the YouTube channel, or just geek mail me. Um, I hope this provides you a real challenge.